Let's go. I got nothing. Yeah. Brendan, come on. Marcus, uh, shot the ball a little bit better, I guess, than, than you did uh, you know, at Florida State. Uh, things working a little bit better for you out there? Uh, we actually just talked about that. I still feel like I shot horrible. Um, three, three for nine from three, that's yeah. terrible. But you know, you guys don't get to see when I'm really making them in practice and stuff. So that's where I get my confidence from. A lot of people probably think I'm just jacking them shots. But I know I can make them, so that's where that comes from. But I mean, yeah, I think, I think the team as a whole just had a better flow. Um, you know, shots went down today, other than, uh, I mean, rather than Florida State, where I feel like we couldn't make anything. But, yeah, I think everybody just played, played re uh, really well together. Keith, you guys were much better as a team from the line tonight. I mean, is that something that you focused on? They said, you know, we, we just can't shoot that poorly from, from the free throw stripe but again in this game. Yeah, Coach had us real focus on shooting free throws the whole, uh, after we Florida State in the first game that we played that we didn't shoot the ball at the free throw line at all. So Coach has us coming in by ourselves, coming to shoot free throws, and he has us shooting extra free throws in practice. Chief, talking about Josh Criddle making his debut, really made an impact inside. See to kind of bring some energy out of the off the bench. Yeah, I'm real happy for Josh. Josh came in and played real strong. I know he was a little nervous. He was talking to me about it before the game, but he came out and he said he's going to play with all the energy he can do, and he came out and did that for us. Marcus, talk about their guards, um, Barber and Shine. Pretty good players. Mm -hmm. Is there more preparing you for some of the guards you're going to see in conference play? Absolutely. Uh, like you said, two, those two guys, they, they really fill up the stat sheet. Um, they're great players, and they definitely have a lot of confidence in the way they shoot the ball. So uh, I think playing them and you know playing a, a guard-oriented team would definitely get us ready for conference, and it'd be one of those games that you know it kind of have a conference atmosphere with the way the fans came out tonight, and it's a kind of an up-tempo game. So uh, I think that was very helpful. Marcus, what did you do differently to let your game flourish in the second half? Um, well, we we settled for a lot of threes in the first yeah. half, and I think that. Uh, Zones have been doing that to us, or I think we all just got confidence in that we can shoot the three pretty well. So uh, I think we've been settling, settling a lot, and Coach talked about it at halftime, and uh, I just wanted to take it upon myself to come out and be aggressive and get into the paint, draw a couple fouls, and, you know, get my teammates going. How important was it to bounce back after the Florida State game? I know you guys were disappointed with that, but High Point nearly beat Purdue the other night, so it's a quality win before you head out to the Bahamas. Oh, it's huge. Uh, last year when we lost our first one, we lost seven more after that, so... Um, it, was, it was something that we definitely didn't want to do, and uh, you know, just you know, there was nothing we could do about the Florida State game tonight. Uh, it was in the past, and I think really this year we're just trying to take it a game at a time and uh, just win them, win them all. Keith, uh, what was your mindset coming into tonight's game? Uh, mindset was just come out and play aggressive <coughs> because I feel like Florida State second half I I didn't play as aggressive, and Coach talked to me about that, so he just wanted me to play aggressive and rebound the ball. Can you guys talk about heading to the Bahamas coming up uh, next week? Uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I actually, I go to Atlantis a lot um, for vacation, so it's fun. It's fun to go out there for business, and uh, I, I, we're definitely looking to come home with a championship. So um, I think everybody's excited. Uh, we haven't really looked forward to it because we had this game that we were focused on, but uh, you know now we're going to focus in on that. Okay, could you could you have done more in the first? Uh, given their size, could you have done more in the paint in the first half? Did you guys take? We yeah. finally take advantage of it. Yeah, I feel like we could have did it way better in the paint. That was our focus coming in. I feel like in the first half, we didn't come as strong. We didn't play strong in the paint like we could have. And the coach talked to us in the second half. We still missed a couple easy ones, but I feel like we got better. Marcus, talk about how your brother's coming along. I mean, what, do you, what do you think about Jeff so far? Well, what's he said to you? Um, I, he's enjoying it. You know, it's going to take him a little while to get his legs back. You know, it's really been about three years since he's really played a full game and been like a focal point um, coming from Illinois. And, um, I think that he's just taking it a game at a time and trying to get his legs back. And, you know, a lot of his jump shots are falling up short. But, um, you know, he'll, he'll get it under control. Happy birthday, too, by the way, Jeff. <laughs> Marcus, do you feel like being a primary ball handler with, you know, maybe AJ out, do you think that could possibly, the, the grind of having to occasionally go against press and bring the ball to court, do you think that could maybe tire you out and be part of the reason why you're not shooting quite as well? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, we, we handle the press every day in practice, so uh, you know any, anybody else that is going to press us, it's not like we haven't seen it before and that we haven't been through it. Um, I think it was just more of a rhythm thing, you know, not having those two games or whatever game, how many games uh, that I did miss. I think it's just trying to get back in the flow of things and game speed and everything. So um, as soon as I find that rhythm, I'm sure these shots will start going down a little, bit, a little more.
Um, Keith, you're three rebounds away from a 500 career rebound so, in your career. So how does that feel, just being three? Is that even on your mind? Uh, I didn't know nothing about it. So <laughs> I guess so. in here, so. <laughs> and you had 15 tonight, so. Um, I guess it's good. I, I didn't really <laughs> focus on that, but I just want to come out and rebound the ball every day. <laughs> Thanks, Shaq, over here. Thanks, yeah. <laughs>